Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I got a great video for you today. I got the opportunity to check out Prison Simulator Prologue before this thing is released. And it's a real cool game. You become a guard in a prison, so of course they wanted me to check it out. And I did, and I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty cool to be honest with you. And it's free. You can get the thing at prisonsim.news slash prologue Larry. So you can get it, it's a free, free download. But this game is actually pretty cool, I'll tell you why. Because you become the guard, then you got the inmates, you make the inmates up. Meaning, get their characters, you get the different gangs. So it, it really gets you thinking how this stuff really works. And they made it pretty lifelike which I like too. You know, some of the games, you know, they have different ways to look at the game, in my mind. You could look at them as a very realistic, like it's a Mafia City or a GTA or something. Then you can get other games that are more thinking and building and stuff of that nature. Or then you can get a game like this, you're playing the guard. The one thing that had me playing the guard. But, but, you'll see, the guards, uh, you know, it's a little bit different than you think. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna show you some cool stuff on this thing, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun in this. It's really pretty cool, because when you go into a new prison, they actually do fingerprint you, or they check the identity of you. you case is, you know, really a mistake, or, or somebody's not who they say they were. You got people who look alike, you got a lot of stuff like that. And they do that when, you re when you're released as well. But in this game, uh, you know, the guards search you, right? So as you can see here, this is pretty cool. When you're the guard and you search him and you find drugs, you have two options. You could let him go and then you're cool with the inmates so you get a higher power or respect on the yard. Or you could catch him and be an asshole and become that guard, that kind of guard too. I've actually ran into both kind. So this made this thing really cool. And how they check you is pretty cool too. I mean, they check in a number of ways, not only your picture and your ID, and it is fingerprinting whenever you go into any prison, obviously. And even when you transfer, that's a whole process. You gotta go through the process. And that's what it is. It's called R&D, receiving and discharge is where this is. So that is pretty cool. And as you can see, when it goes on, they have it's kind of lifelike, you know, and catching the drugs is pretty cool. And letting them go is even better. I like to be a guard like that, as you can see. That's kind of how that works. And, and I, I thought that was pretty cool too. But one thing I'll say, there's always more than one person in a room uh, and that, that will happen as well. So I always get a kick out of that too. But how you choose something will dictate how the game goes. Think of that. So when you're doing something, it dictates how the, go how the game goes which I think is pretty cool too. In this clip, they're showing you about food and stuff and you get energy and all that. But you know, as a guy who doesn't go into that, I, I think obviously differently. And you're gonna see this clip is a lot better than that. And you're gonna see how this clip works. This clip works pretty cool because you go down and now what happens on the yard is really cool. So check this out. You know, the way they set the yard up with the walls and all that kind of stuff and, and the defense and double it, that really reminded me a lot of Atlanta with the towers and the wall and the 40 foot walls and everything else and barbed wire fences everywhere, even in the prison. That's kind of normal stuff. So they really got that right. And I, I did, that was pretty cool. Now, the part here that I think is pretty wild is, you know, they're gonna be going into the yard, right? And they got all that stuff here from lemonade and all that kind of stuff. And now, look what happens. He gets on the yard. Now they have a bench press. Now, the inmates try to entice the dude to go bench press with them. Now, obviously, that's not gonna happen. You know, no guard is gonna sit there and wanna bench press, first and put himself vulnerable. You, you notice weights, first of all, only a few prisons when I started had weights. After that, they got them out. But this is pretty cool because it's making the guard make a think. What happens if you take that? If you take that challenge, especially me, I could bench press. I used to bench 375. Uh, now, what do you do if you take that challenge to bench press? You know, do you do that? Do you not do that? This is what makes this cool. And how you take that is going to determine the next steps along the way, which I think is real cool too. But you can, as you can see, they are realistic. The game is pretty realistic. Now, 
The yards, it, it, the way they set it up is pretty cool and how they got people in sections and stuff like that, I always thought it was cool. Uh, again, when I look at games, I look at them in a different way. Now, but I'm a guard, you gotta remember that. Boy, I'd be a good guard, but I wouldn't be a guard, obviously. Uh, but in the game, it's pretty cool because I actually like doing something different in the game and I thought that was really cool uh, playing like that. And now, you see, what people don't get on these games, you know, you're, they're showing the whole prison and stuff, but now you're gonna get back to contraband. You know, what do you do? How do you get it? And where would they search you? You know, I, I look at this and, I, and, and I'm looking at how the whole underground, it really reminded me a lot of Atlanta or a couple of prisons. This one actually looked more like Lewisburg prison. But as you can see, this guy's gonna get searched, and I think that is pretty wild, you know. Uh, do, do they search? Do they search on a yard? Yeah, you know, guards will search anywhere. They will pull you out and search. They will strip search you, but they'll pat you down and stuff. And even when you went through the hallways in Atlanta and stuff like that, they strip search you. They'd take you around the bend and they'd strip search you. And I'm talking lift your balls, turn around, spread your ass, do the whole works. They will do that. This game gives you all those options, which I think is so great. All right, this next one is pretty wild. You're talking about beating a guard. Now, somebody pays somebody to beat the guard. Inmate pays someone to beat a guard. Think of that. Now, does that happen? Absolutely it does happen. It really does. You will see guards fight guards and argue with other guards. That's normal. And obviously you guys know my channel and you know that Massey did that and you know he, he had beef and he'll call somebody out. Massey was a straight up guy, which I love about him. But you will. Now, do they get paid from somebody? I often, I often used to wonder, did that happen? You know, because when I was beaten, I don't think anybody paid anybody. I think they just hated me. But I think it's pretty cool. And the way you got to go through the doors and how you have to look around and check it all out, who's around, all that, I think that is so fucking cool. I really do. And again, I like the graphics. I loved everything about this. And look, they take you away. They, they bring you back. All of that kind of stuff. Look at that. The offices, everything in this is cool. Look at this. Here's like a, 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 a lounge for the officers and here's the beating. So, they actually beat this fucking guy. This is, this is guards beating a guard. Now, does that happen? I don't know, but look at that. That is pretty fucking cool. I mean, you gotta, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. And they're trying to fight and they hit him in the fucking head. He's done. He's out. And they get paid to do that. Now, where are you at? You cool, you're not, what's going on? Holy shit, look at this. Look at it. Now, he can't say anything because now, you know, you got to remember something in prison. If you're a guard and you don't have other guards to help you, what's going to happen? Think about that. All right, here we got a, here's what happens in this clip. The guards come in to get paid for smuggling drugs in prison. Now, we did that, actually did that. Think about that. But they wouldn't come to your cell. It was all street to street. So that made me think, oh, okay, could be a little change different, but it's cool because it does happen. And at least you got a game that's being truthful. That I love. Being truthful of what's going on. Gotta love that. In my eyes, gotta love that. And I think that's pretty cool. But look, he can get in there. He got the drugs. Now he's gonna pay him. I got it all. And look at that. It's pretty cool the way they do. And these guards get together. They know what's going on. Trust me, they know what's going on. All right, in this clip, it's county. Guards count. Believe me, we used to say, these guys got, if, if you can't count to fucking 100, you can't be a guard. That's about the only qualifications you have, because count times happen and happen and happen. Here they show it to you. I loved it, and as a guard now, but you know they go to sleep, they do a whole bunch of shit, so, you know, I love that part of it. You know, evening, the presence check and all that, they call it presence check. It's counting. We used to get counted five times a day. You know, it all comes down to this money, riots. Now, look, they have a riot that starts. Well, the first thing, a riot, you know, riots happen. I mean, I've, I've never seen a riot. I've seen multiple 10 on 10 inmates, 20 on 10. I didn't see a riot where they took over the prison. It did happen in Atlanta in 1987 when the Cubans took over USP Atlanta and it, for, for like eight days, you can look it up, and it was pretty cool. But this is where the riot happens. And you know, it's kind of cool because they have a lot of uh, a cool stuff in this thing, I think, and I think it's really cool. And you can look, you know, they, they confirm and how to get out. Look at them, they're trying to click, you know, 
pick locks. You're not doing that in prison, obviously, but look at it. The place is destroyed, and I think that's really cool. Now, you see with the guns, you don't see guns, unless they're taken back over to prison, something major, and people dying. You don't see it. You won't see that. But it's pretty cool that you have it. Now you can have it. Look at it. Oh, he just shoots that guy dead. I mean, dead. Next. Who's up next? Hey, that's a free ride, man. You could kill anybody you want. But they, they got it pretty cool. And look at these. He's shooting right in the head. Look at it. And they got the, the, the pointers just like GTA and stuff like that, which I think is cool. Again, I thought that was cool. So these two clips are pretty cool. And look at this guy trying to fight until he gets blown off, blown in the head. Look at him shooting him. Boom, boom. He's just shooting everybody, man. You won't see that, obviously, but I think it was cool. And you get to do the shooting, which I think is even better. And there's a gunfight that ends this whole ride. Look, he just shoots him dead. You know, trust me, you don't think guards want to do that? So it's pretty... Man, look at that. It's really cool, to be honest with you. And, and it reminds me a lot of GTA. And I, I, believe me, since I play GTA now, not good. But I got a feel of how the controls work, so it's pretty cool about that. And I like that part of it. That was the easy part, I thought. So, uh, but look, he's going. He's going to put the fire out and do all that kind of stuff. Because you got to... You gotta, save the prison you're the hero you got to become the hero of this game all right in this clip you can see it's the after riot they had a blackout now you as the guard have to take control get everything right and everything in the whole entire thing you don't see that too often but i think that's really cool you're you're the man i mean you know they, they tell you hey you're on your own it's a blackout you guys fend for yourself i, I can actually see that happening and, and you know if you're an independent guy the one thing i liked about being a guard is you make your own choice, whether it's leave the drugs or hang out with this guy, like, uh, you know, take a bribe if you want to call it that or whatever you're going to do. It's your choice, and it does dictate the game, which is really, really cool. But let, let me go into end, ending the game and, and how it works, guys. First of all, the game is new. It's coming out now. You can get the game on prisonsim.news slash prologue Larry, and it's free. It's in Steam. It's definitely worth the game to get for free. Totally, just download it. Trust me, download it. It's a good game. I hope to do more of these because I like these kind of stuff. I, you know I love the prison stuff because I've been there so long, I know the game and all that kind of stuff. So check it out, really check it out. Go get the, uh, the prologue and, and you'll see how to develop. It's a really cool game. It's easy to learn, easy to, to understand and gives you the power to do what you want. But I hope you enjoyed this new game. I love to get these kind of things because I get to play them and I get to get the, the previews like I did and I think that's pretty cool. So I, I love that part of it. So listen, this is a game, we know that. Make sure you make good choices. Don't go to prison, please, it's a game. I always tell people that no matter what I do. Uh, have fun, make good choices and have a great day. But make sure you check it out. Please check it out, let me know what you think. Have a great day everybody, stay safe, make good choices.